I'm Sonia Pierre of NewYork.com, and we're here in front of the Time Warner Center in the heart of New York City. We're speaking with CEO Dick Parsons today about his beloved city. What's your favorite memory? Maybe six, we moved to uh, Queens, South Jamaica, by what was then called Idlewild Airport, which is now JFK, which was built uh, on Jamaica Bay and really in sort of swampy. It was a landfill. And we lived very close to it. And whenever we'd have one of these big hurricanes that would come up, which they did a lot during the, uh, the mid 50s, the whole area would flood. And I remember as a kid, like being like playing like you were. Tom Sawyer or Huck Finn pole rafting through the neighborhood. You know, you'd get these old boards in time and you'd pole raft through the neighborhood because it was like under three or four feet of water where we lived. It was really almost an outdoor boy's life growing up in Queens. What do you recommend that first time New Yorkers do? I don't think anyone should miss the Statue of Liberty. It's, um, it's a quintessential New York experience and it, it, in terms of both a spectacular monument in a spectacular venue. You get there by boat, so you go through New York Harbor, which is fabled and historic and beautiful, and you end up on Liberty Island, and the Statue of Liberty is, is a beautiful monument. The view from the top of either the Empire State Building or 30 Rockefeller Plaza, because it's just a commanding view of, of the city, starting with Manhattan, but looking out to the boroughs. A visit to the Apollo Theater uptown, because it is it's, it's a slice of New York that has its own energy. It's a different kind of energy and a different feel to go visit Harlem uh, and go to the Apollo and see a show. Radio City Music Hall for like the Christmas pageant. It's such a, it's such a grand place. I mean, 6,600 seat theater with, you know, 80 foot ceilings and whatnot. I mean, it's, a, it's just an experience. And probably last but not least on my list, and it's tough, but I'd put the American Museum of Natural History. There's no, there's no comparable museum in the world mm -hmm. to that one, so those would be five. What's your favorite restaurant and why? That's a toughie because there's so many good restaurants um, in New York. All around, my favorite is Probably a place called Scalini Fideli, which is down in Tribeca mm -hmm. uh, on Duane Street. The space is lovely. You're not too crowded. You can talk to whoever you uh, have out with dinner. The food is fabulous. It's Italian food. I love Italian cuisine. Service is great. Uh, wine list is good. And, uh, and it, but it still has a little of the funkiness of downtown as opposed to the, 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 the classical midtown. Mm -hmm. Elegance. What's one of New York's best kept secrets? I think the zoo in Central Park. You can have a real day at the zoo experience, and yet when you look up over the treetops, you see the whole place sort of um, framed by the by the tall buildings of New York. So one minute, if you look down, you can you can imagine yourself, you know, sort of uh, if it's the monkey exhibit in the African jungle or if it's the penguins, you know, in Antarctica, and then you look up and you realize that you've been set down right in the middle of New York City. I think that's a, that's a terrific experience that more people ought to have. Absolutely. You work in Time Warner Center. What's the shopping and dining experience like for you? This is a fabulous, fabulous site. And not just to work, but to dine. Um, Probably no better restaurant in the city than per se in terms of quality of food. Um, I'm a big fan of Masa, which is Japanese food. I think, I think it could well be the finest Japanese restaurant in the world. Um, uh, Porterhouse is as good a steakhouse as you'll find in New York. Uh, and then something called Landmark just opened up, which is, which is a very comfortable place to go for uh, casual food, I'll put it that way. So we've got four terrific restaurants or lots of our folks just go down to Whole Foods which has a little place where you can sort of buy fresh produce and fresh meats and fresh cold cuts and fresh cheeses and sit and eat for lunch. 
It was great talking to you, Mr. Parsons. But before you go, let's play a quick little game. Mets or Yankees? Yankees. East side or west side? West side. Knicks or Nets? Knicks. Fairway or Whole Foods? Whole Foods. Pizza or hot dog? Pizza. Jay-Z or Diddy? Now that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I, I, uh, it, it would depend on, on, on what you're looking for. I think Jay-Z, well they're both uh, capable business people. Jay-Z probably has actually more musical slash rap ability. Mm -hmm. um, Diddy is, uh, is more capable of just reinventing himself as he goes along. Beyonce or Rihanna? Beyonce. Star Jones or Rosie O'Donnell? Star. And last but not least, is the cheesecake in New York City really that good? Best cheesecake in the world. You get up in the Bronx. You're watching New York.com TV.